First really good tip, avoid bright lights 30 minutes prior to flight. Flashing green and white, lighted, land, airport. sure you have plenty of fuel and make sure you get the right fuel 20 minutes I should say 20 minutes at night 20 minutes in the day for a helicopter it's the same you gotta have 20 minutes of reserve probably better have even more than that because it's hard to get fuel sometimes at night depending on where you're at All right now we have we're in here a pretty brightly lit area bright lights because we want to do a good pre-flight inside with the light get everything done inside move outside where it's dark do our fuel last minute walk around go and do a last minute planning give yourselves a half an hour to for your eyes to adjust we learn from basic private pilot training minimum 30 minutes prior to flight avoid bright lights in the night vision goggle training that I've had for doing EMS flying, they say that it can be actually up to an hour or more before your light, your eyes really adjust. So get your aircraft pre-flighted inside. Of course, using your checklist as always, good pre-flight, day or night, doesn't matter. Then move it outside, give your time, eyes time to adjust, do your fuel, whatever else you need to do, and get ready to go. Make sure all your checks, minimum on battery time. Check what you got to check, battery back off. Then must your aircraft position lights be on. Sunset to sunrise. Make sure all your checks, minimum on battery time. Check what you got to check, battery back off. the other key stuff about night flying question asked a lot how do you fly your approaches in a helicopter at night versus the daytime you get all kinds of crazy answers the answer is the same way you fly them during the day you fly your approaches at night the same way as you do in the daytime you just have to be aware of the different illusions that can take place while you're coming into the runway where the runway is coming at you faster than what you think it is it can appear that it's farther away and there's some other runway illusions too that play in but the main thing is you fly your approaches the same way at night as you do what is the definition of night definition of night the beginning of civil twilight to the end of civil twilight as published in the American Air Almanac, Almanac converted to local time. Don't forget your flashlight so you can see what in the world you're doing in the middle of the night. Flashlight phone app, pretty cool, huh? Thanks to my eight-year-old. And easy to do when you're by yourself. Don't forget your gas cap after you put the fuel in. Very easy to forget. And 
walk around with your flashlight. I always thought that was a good thing. We pre flight it inside. When you're walking around looking at your aircraft with your flashlight, pointing to specific areas, you might catch something you couldn't see inside in the bright light. Well, another good one. And another one I think super important. This seems kind of simple, but this can happen to you. You have your power on, you go flip your panel lights on, and you got nothing. You start freaking out. Don't forget to check the dimmer switch. Voila. May sound pretty simple, but these things love to vibrate. And if you haven't flown at night for a while or the helicopter flies much, these things have a habit of turning themselves down. And I have another story on that one I'll tell sometime. But a couple of dumb mistakes I made, and all it took was a dimmer switch. So don't forget to check the dimmer. All right. Let's go fly.